which basically uh, does nothing else than PHP. So when I create a new project, you can see there is one category over here only uh, called PHP. And we also have a sample application. So I'm going to create a new PHP application. As you can see, the wizard is a little bit more complicated because what I actually need is to divide my project into two parts. One of the parts will be in my home directory, and the second part will be directly in the Apache directory. So basically, you can you know, divide the project into two parts. One of them um, is uh, in your home uh, or wherever you want to store your project. And then the source files are in uh, Apache's directory so that you don't expose all your metadata to, to the users. And I'm going to call the directory over here also PHP demo. And you can see there is also a URL associated with the project. Anybody? OK, a couple of you. Anybody using Java over here? Anyone? OK, you came to the right conference. Very good. So the point is that you know, by adding support for PHP, we are enlarging the NetBeans community. Because PHP community is it's pretty large. And so thanks to uh, adding support for PHP, more people will download NetBeans and use it. So what is the most important feature in the editor? Anyone? Code completion, right? Yeah. So there we go. There's code completion. Um, I'll start just with a hello world. So we will say hello world. Semicolon. And now um, I will just hit the run button. And there's Hello World right over here. Um, as you can see, I'm actually using, you know, uh, there's Apache running on background with PHP. And uh, there is no uh, setup necessary, so it's as easy as this. Now, the second uh, most important feature probably is refactoring. So, what I'm going to do here is uh, create a new variable called uh, message. And it will just say hello for now. And of course, I can use code completion over here. Supposing my syntax is correct. Over here, string message. Um, you can see that the occurrences get marked. So when I place my cursor on message, um, it gets highlighted <laughs> in both of these occurrences. And I can press Control R. So this is like what you get in the Java editor, uh, the inline uh, instant rename. So I will rename it to my message like this. And um, I would like to show some other features. So I will create a new PHP file, which will be called my library. I can use things like code templates. So CLS, tab key, I get the code template. Um, I will call the class, for instance, a person. Now, this is the old style of uh, PHP um, constructor. So we have the new version. Uh, new style in the new version. And I will supply one parameter and then uh, set the name, string this uh, dot name or oops, wrong key, equals name. Uh, similarly, I can use uh, live templates for functions. So I can do fnc, hit the top key, I get the function. So these are intelligent code templates that you can use for PHP. And now I will simply return the name. So again, string this um, dot name like this. Uh, for navigation, you can do you can use you know if you already are programming in Java with NetBeans, you already know, know all these shortcuts. So they also work for PHP. So for instance, I can go to file uh, by pressing Alt Shift O. So I can find index PHP over here. Uh, when I create. I will use here the require statement. So I can use code completion inside of require as well. Right, so if I now want to access uh, my, uh, my lib PHP file easily from here, I just press control space and I can choose from different PHP files in my project. And now I'll just get uh, the name of the user. So let's create, uh, or the person, it will be New. Again, code completion, like in Java, I can press it over here, new person. And one thing you, should, you could notice is that there is no documentation over here, but I can fix that later on. So new person, for instance, Judith, and he'll say, hello, Judith. <laughs> and uh, so I need an echo statement, and again, string person. I could use code completion as well. 
and there is a method get name. Again, I get the completion for that. Now, I mentioned that uh, you know there is no documentation, but I can add just PHP doc over here, and it gets generated for me. Um, so this function will get a name and will return a string called name. And so now, whenever I use code completion, you can see that I get my PHP doc displayed as necessary. All right, so I can just now run the application again, and we can see, hello, Judith. Perfect. So that's a really simple example. I've shown you some of the features. Um, we can see marking of appearances, instant rename, and so on. Now, some of you may ask, you know, how does this also work 